How's it going YouTube? This is Court with the Infinite Tradesman. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a vacuum chamber for stabilizing wood scales for knife making or whatever else you would need it for. So in front of us we got a vacuum pump. They use these for the HVAC for the cars and stuff like that but I've, I've had to modify it a little bit. It comes with this uh, little piece right here with this end screwed into here so instead I got a uh, 3 8 um, MPT fitting with a uh, hose connection and in order to put that on I had to take off this handle and I also uh, pipe threaded it it had a uh, good bit of pipe uh, sealing compound on there so uh, just keep in mind of that when you guys are uh, taking it off. So, with that being said, we're gonna, here we got a uh, 64 ounce mason jar, and uh, we got to make a hole in the top so we can put this bad boy in. So, uh, stand by, and I'll do that, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we went ahead and drilled the hole, and uh, we ended up uh, sealing it with uh, with some five mini epoxy, just to make sure there's no no vacuum leaks. So it's a little blurry. Sorry about that, I don't know how to fix that, so, um, now all we gotta do is go ahead and, uh, fill it up with our stabilizing agent, which I'm gonna try boiled linseed oil. I'll give that a minute. Due to the size of the jar, it's going to take quite a bit. Right, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, turn the camera back on when it's full. Alright, so I got it filled up in between the 1,000 and 1500 milliliter mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on there. And after that, all we gotta do is add our eighth inch clear tubing. And we have a vacuum pump. So let me go ahead and get some uh, scales cut out and we'll give it a try, see how it does. All right, so I just made up a little jig real quick so I can uh, weigh these uh, down in the oil so they don't float and so I can retrieve them out easily after stabilization. So I just took a big old bolt and cut it down and uh, just put a washer on there and just wedge it down to the bottom so that way when I go in there and put them in I got plenty of uh, plenty of weight to hold it down and I have an easy way to grab it and get it up after uh, after they're stabilized, so let's uh, go ahead and try this thing out. Hope it works. 
Oh. I got the fizz plugged in. Let's get it to work on another tray. And all that that you see in there is air bubbles escaping from the from the wood. Need to try and find maybe a, a little bit stronger hose because it's sucking that thing flat. So let's give it another try. Hope you can see all the bubbles coming up. Settle again for a minute. coming from there. I'm very happy with how this is working. Didn't think it would work this good.
And it starts sucking back out of the, the pump, the oil. So. Let's give it another try. Alright, well, I'm going to keep on doing this for a little bit until, until uh, the wood is all stabilized and I'll show you guys the finished product. Alright, I just pulled the scales out and this is what they look like. All stabilized, so we'll uh, wait for them to cure. I also have a set of curly maple scales that I'm going to be uh, stabilizing as well. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those in real quick. Show them to y'all when uh, when we're finished. All right, stabilize the curly maple handles, and here's the after product. All right, so. Just wanted to show you guys the final product of the scales. One, this one's the curly maple, and then this guy is the the redwood. So there's that. And uh, just a little bit of information about the pump. It's a five CFM pump. I uh, got it off of Amazon. I think it was Amazon Prime for one hundred and twenty dollars. Um, works great. Just make sure you got plenty of oil in it. Um, the jar, like I said, it was a 64 ounce jar. Got it at the hardware store. I'm sure you could get it at a canning uh, supply or anything like that. Um, it was. Uh... Yep, canning supply. Sorry about that. <laughs> and, uh,. I got all my fittings at the local hardware store, so as well as the tubing. So if you guys have any questions at all, just leave it in the comments, and I will do my best to uh, answer them. And again, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe, and I will be having uh, more up soon. I should be building an AR-15 upper today, so hopefully I can get that up today or tomorrow. So, thank you all, and I will see you soon. Like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.